Welcome back. We're looking forward to a much brighter summer travel season. And if you need some inspiration, a live look at the Roatan mm. Bay Islands in Honduras. So beautiful. Take me there, please. Back here in North Texas, it's been so hot. But some good news possibly coming in your first alert forecast. Uh, Jeff, uh, a cold front. You've been telling us it might be coming our way or should be coming our way. Probably coming our way. Is it coming our way? Sorry, Keith. I just spent too much time staring at that picture. <laughs> I, I'm gone. Jeff has left. Uh, let's take a look at Fort Worth time lapse. Uh, Keith, to answer your question, we do have some thunderstorms in the forecast this afternoon. But this morning, uh, make your errands, get off to service, no worries. Just some high, thin cloud cover overhead. It's another warm and humid start. We're expecting another triple digit high. No heat advisory today. We have a northeast wind showing up at the end of the day, and that's going to sweep away a lot of this humidity. So that feel like temperature will stay under 105. It's still going to be a warm day obviously, but afternoon thunderstorms and the wind picks up as it turns. Uh, now we're talking about a chance of rain better from Breckenridge up into Sherman, a little bit better across our west and to our northwest than around the Metroplex for this afternoon. But here is a cold front coming towards us. It's going to come through here in the afternoon, destabilize the atmosphere enough to get some thunderstorms going, and that's good news. We've been extremely dry since the start of this month, and this is only a 20% chance of rain and thunderstorms that goes to only a 30% chance this evening. However, these thunderstorms, as far as few between they will be, they will have some very heavy rain with them and maybe even some very gusty winds as well. And you can see this particular computer model is very generous with the coverage around the Metroplex and just south towards the 35 split. Any rain is good news. As the front continues to march its way further south, the winds will pick up from the northeast at the end of the day and be out of the northeast all day tomorrow. What that means is cooler weather. We're also going to have some thunderstorms across our southern counties a little bit better than what we're seeing here in this particular model's run. But this is how June has been going, right? We had that wet weather, cool start, and then, man, really, it was starting around the 10th. Every day since has basically been 99 or in the 100, save for the couple of days there. But you, this has been some very hot weather here in June, and we're going to get a break from it tomorrow. This could also give us a break as we close the month. We're watching for that system that's spinning off of Louisiana's coast to maybe develop into something. There's only a small chance it does, but even if it doesn't, it could get into enough of a system to bring some heavy rain inland into Texas. This would be going into Friday and Saturday. This would be appreciable chances of rain if it does pan out. In the seven day forecast, we're going to talk about our small rain chance today that goes to a 30% chance tonight and a small chance mostly south tomorrow. But temperatures will be cooler. We'll be in the low 90s. Tomorrow will end a two week streak of above normal highs, but we will have warm days continuing into Wednesday and Thursday before we start seeing the influence of that system in the Gulf. Keith? Jeff, a small chance better than no chance at all. It's